Our reporter Katie Pillbeam has been among the cadavers at Ripley's Museum in Piccadilly. Katie, what can people expect to see there? Well, preserved humans, that's what they'll be seeing, a lot of them in all sorts of positions. And it really is absolutely fascinating. You can see right here, we've got a, a gigantic horse and two humans on the top here. And the process is all about extracting the water, the fat, and it's replaced with plastic in this placination process. And it's all about learning about the human body and how it works, the cardiovascular, the nervous system the reproductive system and it really is quite the experience it's different to anything that i've ever seen before for that's definitely for sure well i did speak to the brains behind this whole concept i spoke to uh, dr angelina wally now she's come up with this she created it with her husband dr gunther von hagen and he's rather poorly at the moment and she explained to me that what would happen to him if he was to pass away anytime soon or indeed in the future that she would actually placinate him well of course we both are uh, body donors by heart uh, and we both like the idea to continue our work even beyond our lives um, Gunther, unfortunately, is afflicted by Parkinson's disease and also he is a little older than me, so it's more likely that I will placidate him than the other way around. And when he came up with this idea, of course, I said, Gunther, no, this is something I cannot do. Uh, that is now more than 25 years ago. And uh, of course, I understand this is his life's accomplishment. This is his work and, uh, of course, if I was in his shoes, I wanted the same. And that nowadays, I regard it as an expression of love and appreciation. First and foremost, we have to stop decay by means of formaldehyde fixation, as any anatomist would do. And then we have all the time necessary to anatomical dissect. That means we take the skin off and unveil all the muscle fibers and nerves and arteries and all that. And then the placination process starts. And plastination, put very simple, it's a vacuum process that allows us to exchange the tissue water against a polymer like silicone rubber or epoxy resin. So each individual cell that contained water before is now filled with a polymer. And that renders the specimen dry, it is orderless, you can literally grasp it. What is very important for our exhibit, we can put it in a very lifelike, dramatic, beautiful pose. And it holds more or less forever. It's fascinating stuff, isn't it? And actually, Gunther would be the only person who would be identified if he was indeed placinated. And that's because everybody else in here is unidentified. And that's so that their family won't know where they are. They're, they're silent UK donors, if you like. Well, 47 million people around the world have come to visit this when it was a travelling exhibition. And now it'll be permanently here in Piccadilly Circus for everybody to enjoy. And I was told today that 73% of the visitors, they have actually change their lifestyle as a consequence whether that's giving up smoking quitting drinking just being more healthy doing a bit of exercise it really can make you think more carefully about your own health fantastic katie pilbeam